Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be going over Go interfaces and Go structs a bit because they kind of go hand in hand, right? So uh, somebody mentioned interfaces two videos ago. So this is for you, man. Shout out to you. Uh, I'm free today, so definitely can do it today. Please, uh, guys, don't mind my throat. I'm very, very sick or getting sick, so if I cough or sneeze, my bad. So anyways, interfaces are pretty much a set of method signatures. That's what you're gonna see if you look it up. And what that means is um, for a struct to follow an interface, it has to have the exact same methods that are within the interface's method signatures. So if that didn't make sense, uh, we're gonna show you guys. But just know that an interface is pretty much, uh, I guess like, a a blueprint for a structure to follow in order to implement the interface so let's go ahead and type it out so uh, let's make some structs we're going to use some anime references and we're going to say rating is string uh, rating should be an integer but i didn't want to do the the integer conversion to a string because we're going to be fmt printing these guys out so i don't want to do that it's not not relevant uh, another very good anime is Demon Slayer. I recommend it. And now we're going to give these structs uh, function receivers, right? Or method receivers. And if you're coming from JavaScript, it's pretty much just uh, class class functions, I guess you would say. Uh, and we're going to say movie. And this movie is actually going to return a string. So let's not forget that. We're just gonna say return. Uh, what's a good Naruto movie? Baruto, Naruto the movie. All right, so that's looking good. Um, let's go ahead and copy and paste this for for Demon Slayer. Let's just go ahead and make this Demon Slayer reference. Whoops. Okay, and just change this. If you haven't watched a Demon Slayer uh, movie, you are missing out, man. They're actually, season two is all about the, the Mugen train. I won't spoil anything, but it's really good, especially the ending. All right, so let's go ahead and test these guys out, guys. So we're gonna say here, anime one is equal to um, Naruto, and let's just say amazing. And anime two is equal to Demon Slayer, we're gonna say fantastic. It doesn't really matter since we're not using them. I just wanted to show you guys, it doesn't matter what's in the properties. It matters if the methods implement the interface. So the properties don't matter. Um, so let's go ahead and say fmt.println anime1.movie fmt.println. I guess we can copy and paste that, right? Let's just change that to anime two. Um, actually, this might throw in there since I'm not importing FMT. So let's go ahead and import FMT. Okay, guys. So to just to backtrack, we made two structures with two method receivers, and we're calling them. Let's go ahead and see if this works. And there you guys go. So it's working. So let's go ahead and make these structures implement an interface. So the way we do that is pretty easy. We go up here. And usually the interface is at the top. Uh, we're gonna say type anime interface. And we're gonna make it implement the movie function. And it's gonna be re uh, returning a string. So we have to put the return type as well in there. And now instead of doing this in main, let's show you guys, um, let's go show you guys main. We can just delete all this real quick. And instead of doing this way, we can actually do it off of the interface so the interface is going to be uh, bar anime anime interface and we're going to say it's equal to naruto at amazing and we do have to pass in the address so make sure to do that and now we can go ahead and just uh, do fmt.println anime at movie and this should See, undefined fmt.println. Oh, forgot, spelled it wrong. Now this should give off the value of Naruto. 
Baruto the the last or Baruto the Naruto the movie or something like that. It's a it's a bad name for a movie, but Baruto Naruto the movie. Okay, so that that's working. Uh, we can also say here Demon Slayer, and it's gonna print out Demon Slayer Mugen Train. Nothing fancy, right? Like, I think you could have done the same exact code or same same exact line of code and print out the movie Mugen Train. Just getting rid of this anime and just putting Demon Slayer in here. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't have to use the interface for this, for this functionality. It's not really needed. So say we wanted to, like interfaces, the whole point of interfaces is to promote modularity and reusability. So a good way to show you guys this is making a print function, okay? So let's make a, a print function. It doesn't belong to any structure. We're just gonna give it a, let's say a parameter of anime and it's gonna be from the anime interface. It's not gonna return anything and it's just literally just gonna print out uh, anime.movie. And now instead of doing this, right? Instead of declaring, yeah, instead of declaring all this, we can just do two lines. Something that would take four lines of code is gonna take two lines of code, guys, watch this. So we're gonna say uh, print, and we're gonna give it the address of Naruto, amazing. That's my favorite. Uh, word I guess now amazing and we're gonna print demon slayer amazing all right so this is gonna hopefully run there we go see so the whole point of it is that you can pass in um, structures that implement the interface into certain parameters or you know there may be other use cases for this but that's the whole point, like, there's packages that implement uh, interfaces, and as long as the functions are correct within the structures, well, then you can pass it into the package. And uh, this is a nice little way to show off uh, interfaces. Another use case would probably be like, you'll probably see it on the internet if you're looking up interfaces, is uh, geometry. So say there's like a shape interface, and you know the structures would be like rectangle, square, circle, and all of these structures have the function of get area, get perimeter. So you can pass that all into a function that is inside of the parameter has the shape interface and well, then you can get the area. So um, if that's confusing, I would say just look up more, stu more stuff on interfaces. But as long as you get the certain concept of interfaces, then well, this video should have been clear enough. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I did the job man whoever called it out last two videos um, But that's it for me guys. I'll catch y'all on the next video